show. This is the Almas, Almhurst Artist Guild Gallery. There's a whole other wing of the art museum. Um, last time we went around to talk about each piece and we forgot this one because um, it was in the center. <laughs> so this is um, Dos Toro, Two Toro. Um, this is a very nice piece. In fact, well, I gotta save that for a minute. Uh, I really love the actual stone that this card in. It's got some great, like, natural green in it, too. Yeah, very good. Carving wise, solid. I've done a few stone carvings in my past. One of the things I was talking about the first time is so much of this work is like different periods of my artist career growing to be an artist. There's like little bits and everything here. Um, and this one definitely feels like something I did when I was a 3D art major before I switched to the 2D art major. Yeah, so very good. All right, so we are going to now start over here. We're going to do the top 10 runner up, or the top 10. Um, and then we'll do, well, we'll just do top 10 runner up. All right, so the Viaduct Community um, by Anne Fairley Gaines um, is in our finals, one of our finalists here. Um, one of the things I liked about this one is well, living here in Chicago, we see this all over around underneath the interstates. Um, in fact, I just went to Chinatown last week and there was a huge new um, tent city. Um, one of the things I found interesting about this piece is it's kind of, it, to me, at first glance, it kind of looked like camping and fun. And, um, just because the little huts look beautiful and colorful. And yeah, so it's a little bit of a for me, like a fantasy version of what the viaduct underground community looks like. Um, but then down in here, you have the waste of the product. So yeah, it's, it's a very, very solid piece. Um, in my early 3D art career, actually right before I switched to 2D art, I was doing a lot of work like this. So it also, I, I just love the style of, of work too. All right, now these two also are in the top 10. Um, it was, everything in here was real solid, good work, uh, um, but siblings here made it. Um, Jennifer Stark, Starkville, Starkville. One of my son's favorite things was is the colors, like how the green that's there is here and the orange that's there is there. Um, and again, when I was at one period of my art career, I made a lot of these creatures shaped like this. So. Again, very historically following my art path. <laughs> All right, and another one that is similar to artwork that I've created in the past. This photograph, I really love it. Um, the stitching is great down the middle where you take the two images and you make a mirror version and you mold them together. Um, but the red line here really, really makes it for me. That red line in there is just great. Compositionally, yeah, solid piece. All right, born, yeah, the born of the vaccine, um, Carla Wong. This piece is wonderful. Uh, obviously, the subject matter is what's on. Yeah, the subject matter is 2020, 2021. It's what we will be remembered for. Uh, yeah, and it's well-painted composition, like the ideas behind it, it, it tells you a story, but also allows you to tell your own story through it. So definitely a runner, one of the top finalists. All right, now we're on to the greater good. This piece compositionally is wonderful. I love the little rectangle pieces in there. Um, the, the figures are well done, um, but the story it tells, um, the greater good is the name of the piece. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, this is compositionally, structurally, the, uh, the feeling behind it, it, it tells a lot of stories. Uh, so this is great. Yeah. And all right, Switched On, another one of our finalists. 
This one is done by Terrence Johnson. I just think it's fun. I like fun art. This, this piece is just a fun piece, which is wonderful. All right, now, let my camera people follow me. Yeah, they did. follow me. Um, the Vacation on Earth. I really like the story on this one. Uh, this is one of my favorites, for sure. I mean, all these ones that we're talking about right now are my favorites out of the show. I love the little character with the gas mask on, the whole hazmat suit. The tongue sticking out on the horse, it's kind of funny. Um, the mega hats. Yeah, a lot of symbolism. Good, good work. All right, now we're over here. I love you too. I love you too is a great piece. I really like the mirror or the the windows with the different layers. Yeah, definitely a finalist. All right, now. We're on to, and so it begins. This piece, so much good stuff going on in this one. Compositionally, um, the little collage additions to it. It's just a, this is a really great piece. I feel like it's open to whatever story you want to add to it, which, which I love in artwork. All right, now. Oh, and another finalist. Almost, we forgot this one in the first video. I started this one because I forgot this one also made it into the finalist. Um, Tutoro. Yeah, this is a really, really nice piece. I love the eyes. The stone that they chose is wonderful. Yeah. All right, now the winners. So. We'll start with the uh, number four, the runner-up. The Vacation on Earth by Alan Johnson. So that is number four. I just have to say that this one is almost a tie. If I could do a tie, um, I Love You would have been tied for fourth. So I love that piece, but I just like the story a little bit more with that one. It's a real hard. I'm still going back and forth in my head. <laughs> so this one was by uh, Wesley R. Baker. I love you too. All right. So now for the third place winner, which one should it be? <laughs> we got a winner right here. Third place winner. The Greater Good by Lindsay Johnson. This one, you know, I've already said a lot about this piece, but the story that's being told, um, you know, I think a lot of us can relate to this, especially this last year. Yeah. Wonderful piece. You give away more than one first place winner, it would have been first two, but it has to be third. <laughs> so I had to make some decisions. All right, number two is number two is and so it begins by Dorothy Burry Shaw. This place is wonderful. It's a, I can't think of any criticism for it. Uh, it's a super well done composition. Uh, just the little sayings in it, the math equations, the musical notes. It all has so much meaning and symbolism, which I love in artwork. So we have number two. Now for the winner, and the winner is Walter's jacket. What? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah, let me show you guys Walter's jacket. Wait, I'll flip it. Yeah. 
There's a bald disc at the back. Go around. There's Walter's jacket. <laughs> Not really in this room, but I do love that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So winner, winner, winner. Via that community. Unfortunately, so many people this year have lost their jobs, and the homeless community has grown, and less money and less resources to give to them. I think that the fact that this is featuring that struggle is powerful. Um, I love art that has a deeper meaning, um, that says something about society. This was Anna Fairley Gaines. Wonderful work. Anybody that had work in the show, um, feel free to message me. Uh, I'd be happy to talk to you about what I thought about your work. And there was a definitely a, we spent a lot of time narrowing it down to like top 20, then the top 10, and then the final, I think we had a final six, and then I finally made the choices. So, but yes. Um, the Viaduct community and fairly first place. And I am Alan Vanderger, and thank you for watching and and uh, everyone that participated in the show. Great job. I judged the show six years ago, and I, I recognize some of the names and um, some of the artists, and you guys have really come a long way, and again, you guys did a great job. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks for watching.